Well people, welcome and hello to the top 50 of my top 1000 countdown. So on this video, as you've already probably guessed, uh, we're counting down 10 fighters by the way, by the way, <laughs> adding them in. Um, so here we go from 50 down to number 41, okay, the names are getting super thick now. Okay, let us go to the first fighter, okay, in the top 50 and this fighter to me goes massively underrated for his career okay fighter number 50 in my top thousand is memphis palmore now memphis palmore okay beat a total of seven world champions memphis palmore had 33 fights against world champions um, and he fought a staggering 320 rounds against champions 33 fights against champions memphis palmore beat five hall of fame fighters and he had a massive total of 27 fights against hall of fame opponents in terms of rounds fought against Hall of Famers, um, Palmore fought 270 rounds against Hall of Famers. But criminally, like I will say for anyone in the top 50, he had no world title fights, made no title defences and fought zero title fight rounds. And Memphis Palmore beat two pound for pound rated fighters and he had a total of 14 fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall. And Memphis Palmore comes in with a staggering tally, okay, considering his era, of 52 fights against Rated Fighters Champions or Hall of Famers. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are going really into silly land in some cases now. So Memphis Palmore is number 50. This guy is very underrated. He had a super tough career. Fought a list of names a number of times. It's just crazy. But anyway, on to another guy with a crazy start. Number 49, okay, is a fighter called Cowboy Eddie Anderson. Now, Eddie Anderson beat three world champions. Eddie Anderson had 19 fights against world champions overall. And he fought a total of 172 rounds against champions. Now, Cowboy Eddie Anderson beat three Hall of Fame fighters. He had a total of 15 fights against Hall of Famers overall. Um, and Cowboy Eddie Anderson fought a total of 134 rounds against Hall of Famers. But guess what? Cowboy Eddie Anderson had zero world title fights. He made zero title defences and fought zero title fight rounds. And Cowboy Eddie Anderson beat four pound for pound rated fighters from his total of 23 fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall. And now on to his tally of fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. Cowboy Eddie Anderson doesn't come in with 40 or 50 or 60 or even 70. He comes in with a total of 88. 88 fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. I can't say no more really. That number is crazy. So, on to number 48, okay, two great welterweight champion, one of the top 10 welterweight kings, okay, um, the great Jose Napolis. Now, Jose Napolis beat a total of five world champions. Napolis had nine fights against world champions overall, and Jose Napolis fought a total of 79 rounds against champions. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Jose Napolis beat three Hall of Fame fighters. He had a total of five fights against Hall of Famers overall, and Jose Napolis fought a total of 54 rounds against Hall of Famers. Now, in world title fights, Jose Napolis had 18 world title fights. He made 13 title defences, and Napolis fought a total of 177 title fight rounds. And against pound-for-pound -pound fighters, Jose Napolis beat six pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters, and he had a total of 11 fights against pound-for-pound -pound rated fighters overall. In terms of fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, um, Jose Napolis comes in with a total of 30 and... Uh, um, interestingly, he won 27 of those, um, so he lost very few of those fights against top opposition that he fought, showing his consistency. So Jose Napolis is number 48. Now let us think about jumping down to number 47. Now it was a bit higher initially, um, but the opposition from 1908 to 1917-ish hurt his rating a bit. Whereas other fighters were fairly consistent all the way through the career, Johnson was stronger to me in the first part of his career and weaker in the second, and that cost him a bit. Jack Johnson beat 12 world champions. He's a great heavyweight fighter, though. Um, an outstanding fighter from his time. 
Jack Johnson had 25 fights against world champions and fought a total of 297 rounds against them. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Jack Johnson beat seven Hall of Fame fighters. He had a total of 18 fights against Hall of Famers overall, and Jack Johnson fought 198 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Jack Johnson had a total, including coloured titles and established titles, of 21 world title fights, and he made a very impressive 18 title defences. Jack Johnson fought a total of 269 title fight rounds in totality, and against pound for pounders, Johnson beat eight pound for pound rated fighters, and he had a total of 19 fights against pound for pounders overall. In terms of fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers as a pre rating era fighter, Johnson still comes in with an excellent total of 25 a number that of course would be much higher now talking about numbers that would be much higher we now go to fighter number 46 this fighter i've raved about for years this fighter's resume goes vastly underrated it is the excellent philadelphia jack o'brien now jack o'brien okay beat 10 world champions jack o'brien had a total of 25 fights against world champions and he fought a total of 192 rounds against champions now against hall of fame fighters jack o'brien beat six hall of fame fighters he had a total of 17 fights against hall of famers and jack o'brien fought a total of 141 rounds against hall of fame fighters now in world title fights okay this former light heavyweight lineal champion had a total of four world title fights he made zero title defenses and jack o'brien fought a total of 59 title fight rounds and against pound for pound rated fighters okay jack o'brien beat 12 individual pound for pound rated fighters and he fought some of them more than once he had a total of 31 fights against pound for pounders overall and jack o'brien's tally of fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers as a full pre-rating era fighter is still 25 that number would be astronomical had ratings been around I'll just tell you right now, that number would be huge. But sadly, we don't have the ratings, so we'll never know for sure. So on to number 45, okay, he's the excellent lowweight champion and uh, luminary of his time, um, the great George Dixon. Now, George Dixon beat a total of eight world champions, and Dixon had a massive total of 29 fights against world champions. And in terms of rounds fought against champions, George Dixon fought a total of 349 rounds against them. Now against Hall of Fame fighters, George Dixon beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had a total of 15 fights against Hall of Famers overall. And George Dixon fought a total of 216 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now George Dixon had 21 world title fights. He made 18 title defences and George Dixon fought a total of 313 title fight rounds. So he's in that exclusive club of 300 title fight rounds or more. But still that number is way short of the biggest one that we will see to come. Dixon beat five pound for pound rated fighters and had a large 22 fights against pound for pounders. And George Dixon, like Jack O'Brien, he has an even scarier number. As a full pre-rating era fighter, he still had 36 fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. Please do the annual rankings going back further. I'll redo videos. I'll put the pre-rating era fighters on blue screens. Not a problem. Fighter number 44, okay, is Joe O'Bones Brown, okay, the record holder in lightweight defences that eventually was beaten by Roberto Duran. Joe Brown beat four world champions, and Joe Brown had 14 fights against world champions overall, and Brown fought a total of 128 rounds against champions. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Joe Brown beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had a total of four fights against Hall of Famers overall, and Joe Brown fought a total of 37 rounds against Hall of Famers. Now, in world title fights, Joe Brown had 13 world title fights. He made that record 11 lightweight title defences prior to Duran making 12 when he bet De Jesus in the trilogy fight. Um, but he held that record for some time. He fought 155 title fight rounds. And Joe Brown beat five individual pound for pound rated fighters and had a total of 13 fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall. In fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, um, Joe Brown comes in with a total of 60, which is still enormous compared when you look at top 10 pound for pounders now. Not one of them has hit 20. OK, so it puts things in perspective on who is fighting the rated opponents from their time. 
So that is number 44. Let us go on to another great welterweight fighter like Jose Napoli's in 43. It is the excellent Cuban hawk, Kid Gavilan. Kid Gavilan beat four world champions in his career and Gavilan had a total of 13 fights against world champions overall. And Gavilan fought rounds against champions um, totaling at 160. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Gavilan beat four Hall of Fame fighters individually, and he had 13 fights against Hall of Famers. And all in all, Kid Gavilan fought 140 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. In terms of world title fights, Gavilan had 11 world title fights. He made seven title defences, and Kid Gavilan fought a total of 156 title fight rounds now against pound for pounders gavilan beat nine pound for pound rated fighters and he had a large tally of 24 fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall and in terms of fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers gavilan matches joe old bones brown coming in with an enormous tally of 60 fights Although I dread to think what Philadelphia Jack O'Brien, Memphis Paul Moore and George Dixon's tallies would have been in that category had they had ratings. They would have surpassed these guys with ease. So Kid Gavilan is 43. Let us go on to a fighter who I've raved for years. He's massively underrated. The first man to defeat Willie Pep when Willie Pep was 60, over 60 fights unbeaten. Okay, Sammy Angot, the clutch. Sammy Angot beat 10 world champions. He had a total of 26 fights against world champions overall. And Sammy Angot fought a total of 248 rounds against champions. Now against Hall of Famers, Sammy Angot beat 8 Hall of Fame fighters. He had a total of 21 fights against Hall of Famers overall and Sammy Ango fought a total of 212 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now in world title fights, Sammy Angot had five world title fights. He made two title defences and Sammy Angot fought a total of 75 title fight rounds. And this very tough and hard to beat fighter beat 12 pound for pound rated fighters 12 okay he also had a massive 29 fights against pound for pound rated opponents and Sammy Ango slightly surpasses Gavilan and Joe Brown in fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers uh, they come in with tallies of 60 but Sammy Ango hits a tally of 63 so massive fantastic fighters okay on this video so far let us jump down to a fight another fight i've raved about flyweight to heavyweight this guy's a legend leo florian hook my leo okay leo hook okay beat 10 world champions and hook had a massive total of 33 fights against world champions and he fought a total of 244 rounds against champions now leo hook beat six hall of fame fighters he had a massive total of 28 fights against hall of famers overall and leo hook fought a total of 182 rounds against hall of famers and criminally leo hook never had a world title fight he thus made no title defenses and fought no title fight rounds and leo hook beat nine pound for pound rated fighters and had a massive total of 32 32 fights against pound for pound rated fighters he had also a massive total of 34 fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers a number that would be astronomically higher and what you have to remember about this fighter he went from fly to heavy he fought hall of famers or champions across welter middle light heavy he fought top level fighters across multiple divisions uh, and how many people give this guy credit for his weight move but credit pacquiao and others None. Okay, just pointing that out. But there's my latest video. Into the top 40 next we go. I'm out.